Yes, I have finally gotten my hands on some mini hinges, which means secret door nails. If you want to see how I use them, then make sure you stay tuned. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed. By the way. Hello lovelies, welcome back to Nine Lux Nails. As you can see, I am working with a mini hinge, which could only mean I'm about to do the secret door nails. Yes, I have been tagged in these videos so many times. I've seen Long Care Pretty Nails do them. I have also seen Lisette Cruz. I believe she was the first one to do them last year. So the trend has been around and I have been getting tagged in it. And I finally decided what I wanted to do with this type of design. So I'm going to put a nine look spin on it. And I hope you guys really enjoy. So I am starting with my acrylics already laid. This color that I'm using is not my normal color that I use. This is the Mia Secret Cover Rose. It is a much more softer pink then the cover nude blush and I did decide to use it because I wanted this set to be more on the softer side so yes I did go ahead and lay all of my acrylics but unfortunately I put acrylic on the nail that I was supposed to put the hinge on which is not an issue all I'm doing now is simply removing the acrylic from that area so that I can fit the hinge so what you see me doing now is sizing the hinge and removing the acrylic in that area so that i can go ahead and put the hinge down and replace the acrylic so if you decide to try these nails don't be like me and i was so over excited to get this design done that i just went ahead and slapped acrylic on that nail normally you would put the hinge down first and then apply acrylic over the top of it so I'm just removing the acrylic now back to the area of the nail to where it's just flat nail underneath and then I'm gonna put the hinge on and just put acrylic over the top of it okay and it's just a little more acrylic that i want to remove and then we'll be ready to put the hinge in place And yes, now the hinge fits perfectly. It's able to lay flush against the nail tip. And I'm going to go in with my Extreme Glue Diamond Gel to place on my hinge. I do see that Long Hair Pretty Nails and Lisette had issues with putting their hinge down with gel. But like I tell you guys, this Extreme Diamond Gel can hold a car together. I did not doubt for a second that it would be able to hold this hinge on the nail. So I'm just opening up a new jar and I'm going to get the hinge put in place. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of my diamond gel and place it in the area that we etched out for our hinge and then I'm going to place the hinge on and cure it in place for 60 seconds. You don't want to apply too much gel because it will cause height underneath the hinge and that would also make the nail unleveled so I was going really thin with the amount of gel that I did put on.
and here is my hinge it is on it is stuck and it opens and closes i was so pleased with how this look i was beyond excited i'm like okay we get somewhere so now i'm just going to take some of the diamond gel and place it on top of the hinge as well for added security i'm going to cure that for 60 seconds and then we'll go in and reapply our acrylic and now that that is cured i'm going back in with my cover rose nude acrylic from mia secret and i'm simply just going to apply this over the hinge so that I can have my flat surface back because I will be doing a design on this nail and I did not want the hinge to show through on the design. now this nail is back looking like a nail and we still have our hinge i just folded the flap underneath the nail so that i can continue to work and now i'm going to go in and finish the surface of all of the nails just getting a good buff and level so that we can get into this design i'm so excited to show you guys what i did yes ma'am get into that finished foundation so smooth we did go for a tapered square and now i'm ready to get into the design so before i started the design i did go ahead and place kiera sky top coat over the nails because i am going to create a little bit of line work that I did not want to spread so I'm just starting with a thin layer of Kiara Sky no wipe top coat and then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds and go in with my design and I am NOT going to put the top coat over my middle finger which is the nail that I will be putting a different design on so my other four fingers will have the same design and then that middle finger will be different.
now that that has cured i'm going in with a brown gel polish and creating not so straight lines this is going to be the illusion of tree branches so i went from largest to really thin to create the look of a tree branch and I'm going to do this in different variations across those four nails so as you can see I added a little branch going that way and then on the pinky I'm going to have some branches coming down and going up and around so I'm going to do that on all four nails and I'm going to cure these branches and then we'll go in with more details And just like that, those branches have been cured. And now I'm going to go in once more with my top coat and I'm going to seal and cure those branches because now I'm going to use a 3D method for my leaves. I'm going to draw them on and apply the clear acrylic so that they can stand off the nail and give off a matte finish. So again, for my leaves, I'm simply just applying them with this hunter green color and then I'm going to go over them with clear acrylic before I cure them and then once they come out, I will be able to dust off the clear acrylic and have raised 3D leaves on all of the branches. And just like magic here are the completed leaves they turned out really really well I just scattered them all around the nail and now I'm going to add a few more details to these nails I did like this color of flowers and then I'm just going to use some gold caviar beads and a few rhinestones so I'm going to start by picking out exactly the flowers that I want I did want to use large and small flowers not just all large so i'm going to pick out a few of those and then with my extreme diamond gel i'm going to place everything on the nail
so one thing I like to keep in mind when I'm doing a set is balance so just like I used that hunter green I didn't want to use a darker um, flower only because I wanted to balance the colors so I did want a softer flower on those branches and then also if I put a larger flower at the top of my nail towards the cuticle area then I'm going to put a smaller flower towards the bottom and on the opposite finger I'm going to reverse it and do a smaller flower towards the top and a larger flower towards the bottom that way the nail set is kind of balanced and you don't see all large flowers at the top of the nail and small flowers at the bottom trust me if you're using the right adhesive to hold your stones and flowers they will not come off and move so just make sure that the nail looks a little more balanced i know it's very technical but i just think that plays with the eyes very well so again i'm going to put now a larger flower towards the bottom of this nail and a smaller flower towards the top if that makes sense Now you can see an up close view of how those flowers balance each other, how I have a larger flower at the top of one nail and a larger flower at the bottom and I just think it balances it so well. And of course we cannot complete the set without a little bling, it just would not be me if I did not add bling. And here we have our finished branches with flowers and bling. I feel like they turned out so super cute. I really, really love them. And now we can get started on the secret door nail. Now we have gotten to the middle finger. This is the reason we are all here, the hidden door nail. And of course, I'm going in with a freestyle design, hand-drawn nail art, all of the good stuff. So I'm starting by doing just a small branch here, and then I'm going to go in and do a little freestyle drawing for you guys. So at this point, I can't really explain how I'm drawing. I do have a reference picture in front of me and I'm just going in and freestyle drawing this cute little bluebird. So I'm just gonna zip it and let you guys watch. If you have any questions or comments thus far in the video, then please be sure to leave them down in the comments below as I do get back to each and every one of you. So I'm going to zip it and let you guys enjoy as I do a little freestyle drawing.
I also wanted to leave a note that yes, I am curing in between several parts of this design. So if you see me layering colors or going over a certain area, I have already cured the nail and I'm just working on cleaning up the lines and things like that. So yes, when you're doing freestyle hand art, be sure once you're sure about something, you go ahead and cure that because you don't want it to move. You can always add to a design, but you cannot take away once you have messed it up. So be sure to do a quick cure, five or 10 seconds, because we aren't using a lot of polish when doing a freestyle drawing. And there we have our cute little blue bird. It adds a beautiful pop of color to this design. And now I'm just going to add a small few branches and leaves as well as a couple flowers. And we will proceed to do our secret door.
So, because my other nails are gloss, I did want this finger to be matte and I am using my Beatles brand matte polish. Before I place those flowers and stones, I do like to always matte any design that has a lot of detail. It makes that design pop off the nail so beautifully, it actually makes it more bold than the gloss top coat. So I'm going to matte this nail and then I will go in and add the flowers and bling. Now it is secret door time, so I'm just placing it on the nail to make sure that it fits from top to bottom. I did have to cut off just a little bit of the nail, and then I will go in and get the design that I want. So I see where the hinge is, and I'm going in and making just a little marker because I am going to line my design up with the hinges so that it can camouflage it just a little bit. Now, as you saw from the thumbnail, this is going to be a bird cage. So I'm going in with black beetles gel polish and I'm just going to create the look of the bird cage that I'm going for. Again, I did have a reference picture of a gold bird cage. So what I'm doing here is just creating all of the outlines and then I will go over the black outline with a gold chrome and that will give me my birdcage look. So yes, I am leaving the 
base of my secret door clear because I do want to be able to see through it like you would a normal bird cage. So I'm only going to put the black lines where I want the gold chrome to go and then the remainder will be clear. So now after filling in this striped box, which is the same width as the hinge, now I'm going to go in and create my remaining lines, the border as well as the straight lines. And you want to be very steady with doing these lines because you want it to look very authentic like a bird cage. So you don't want really squiggly lines or two crooked of lines and you don't have to do so many lines as well so I'm going to simply do the border and then three lines down the middle and that will give a bird cage So after completing the primary lines, I am going to cure this for 60 seconds and then I'm going to come back in and simply go over those lines again because I want to make sure that this cage is very prominent with the gold chrome. So I did not want to put the chrome on and it did not give a true gold finish. And after curing the second layer of black polish, of course, I had to go in with a few more details. I thought the door was looking pretty plain. So now I'm just doing a little raised 
3D design. Nothing spectacular, just a couple swiggles and lines and dots. And that will be cured for 60 seconds and then we will go in with our gold chrome. And after the final cure, we have the finale of our bird cage. As you know, with chrome, a little goes a long way. So I just did a small tap into the pigment and now I'm able to rub that all over the entire nail, getting all of those nooks and crannies and making sure that it stays only on the black polish so that is the thing about using a no wipe top coat because yes i did apply the no wipe top coat on the bottom before i did the black lines and that way the chrome is not going all over the whole entire nail only on the black gel polish that we applied down to make the illusion of our cage so now after getting my pigment just how i wanted it i'm going to go in with one more coat of the no wipe top coat by akiara sky and then we will place this bird cage on its hinge So now my cage door is cured and ready to be applied. It is so stinking cute. I fell in love with this design. I recorded this video about a week ago and I still have this hand on. My clients are like, girl, what is that? What is it? And when I open my hand, voila, they're like, oh my God, they're so cute. So my clients have been loving them and I thought they weren't going to be easy to wear but i haven't really been getting caught up except with my hair so yes i am applying just a little bit of my extreme diamond gel and i didn't go as far as laying plastic down because i'm only going to put a little bit on here because a little definitely goes a long way now i'm just going to sit my door on its hinge and close it and i'm going to cure her in the light for 60 seconds and there you have it this set turned out exactly how i wanted it to very simple with a pop of peekaboo i love that my little birdie is under there in its bird cage protected and sitting pretty so yes i absolutely love this design and i think i will be wearing them again until next time, you guys, don't forget to follow my socials.